Ray Walker. I just ran across this channel. I am convinced that the Holy Spirit led me here. Hit me up when you get a chance, my brother. Be blessed because you are a blessing. Thank you, sir. The process to reach me in my kingdom is by clicking the description below. Visit my website. All my links are there. If you want access to my kingdom, you can enroll at any given time. The enrollment period to become a citizen in my kingdom ends December 31st, 2020. So if you get in the kingdom, you will have more access to me one-on-one. -on -one. That's the cost, right? The price of joining my kingdom. The Lord has a much bigger price, right? You have to surrender everything. I'm not asking you to surrender everything. I'm asking you to repent, change your way of thinking about your finances to obtain financial freedom. And hopefully in that same process, your soul can be preserved. You can have salvation in it all. Because what's the point of making billions and billions of dollars and losing your soul in the process, not living eternally, and being forgotten, right? Like any billionaire, no matter how big you get, You'll be forgotten. The only thing you'll be remembered for is whatever company you created. But they won't know your name. They won't know your character, ristics, right? They won't know how you performed. You won't be able to perpetuate your kingdom. Because either the Lord is going to judge, because he's the judge, jury, and executioner, right? He's going to cast judgment on your business on your works. Even if you think you're doing good works, the Bible specifically says, or Jesus mentioned, that there is no man that is good. Because even a rapist, even a murderer, can do a good thing. Right? Even a pedophile can do a good thing, at least once in their life. So they did one bad thing, right? They abused another human being, right? And then, let's say they did it one time, they served a 30-year life sentence, they get out of prison, and they help somebody on the street uh, fix a tire. That's a good deed. They rebuild their life, right? They start making money. They start working. Um, they give to a charity. They help a homeless person. They, they turn their whole life around 360. Still does not give them access to eternal life. Why? Because they did not surrender to the king. If there is no mention of you surrendering publicly with your words, with your heart, and then being born again, having salvation, repenting, changing your way of thinking, and then releasing ownership over everything you have to the king, and then becoming a manager instead, a resourceful manager, an expert manager, a kingdom manager, that is the only way you can obtain salvation and live forever and perpetuate your kingdom. And remove the curse of, say, pedophilia in a family, raping in a family, murdering in a family, all the terrible crimes, stealing, right, uh, bullying, um, fraud, right, whatever it is. And it says he's a good kid, a good kid, yes I am, or try to be best, right, try to operate according to the king. I'm definitely a child in the kingdom, so you must be careful on how you approach certain people in the kingdom, especially when they're children. the Because they're the, not the least, that's not what the Bible says, but they're the most. Because uh, there's, a, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about Jesus. He's like, be like this child. You know, just, just open and willing to obey and be obedient. Rock says, surrendering worldly citizenship for kingdom citizenship. Inter interesting. In a way, we have dual citizenship. I'm an American citizen. I love to be here. I love this country, right? Despite all of the things that happen in our country, I still love my country. I ask the king for forgiveness on behalf of the government, right? I have Jesus as my witness, the Holy Spirit as my lawyer, petitioning on my behalf to bring the constitution that the Lord wrote and According to Isaiah, so if we go to the Constitution, right, if we go to the Constitution and we look at Article Isaiah, Section 42, Subsection 
25 to 27. It says that even I am he that blots out thy transgressions. Blots it out. Forgets about them. So the Lord is forgetting our sins. Why? Because he wants to restore us. Not only for us, but he says he blots out thy transgressions thy transgressions for my own sake, his own reputation. Understand, when Apple product fails, Apple does everything in their power to restore the Apple product. Not for Denzel's sake, but for Apple's sake. Not because Apple is my best friend, not because Apple likes me or even knows me. It's because I'm using their product. So God the Father... He created man, the human race, when his product is a defect and, not is, and is not performing according to the Constitution, the rights and citizenship that the citizens have in his kingdom, it makes him look bad. It embarrasses the king when you, a kingdom citizen that have surrendered to the king, is not performing. You are embarrassing the king. So... What does he do? He makes you a promise. According to the Constitution, it says, Even I am he that blots out thy transgressions for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. Our sins. He's not going to remember them. So he says, here's the template. Put me in remembrance. Oh my goodness. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. That is a legal term, ladies and gentlemen. That's a legal term. Let us plead. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Let us plead together. Kingdom community. Declare. It's another kingdom term. No religion. Kingdom. Declare thou that thou may be justified. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in a courtroom. I feel like I'm about to get the judgment, the righteous judgment cast on my life and all the kingdom citizens here today. Wow, that's powerful stuff. Rock says that's why it's called the Lord's Prayer. Everything you need is within these words. Good stuff. I'm still learning on whether that's actually true or not. According to Miles Monroe um, and, and other people that I've heard speak on this topic of kingdom, it's not actually the Lord's prayer because the Lord doesn't pray for us. We're petitioning for resources, right? Um, but I'm still learning whether that's true or not. Um, just that statement, this is the Lord's Prayer. I, I think more so, I, I think it's a, a legal process to obtain certain things. Javier says, you brought a new meaning with our Father Prayer. Never analyzed this way. Amazing. Wonderful. Amen. And boy, did I forget to say amen at the end of the prayer. Amen means it will be. So you want to be careful when you use the word amen when you're talking. It means let it be or it will be. So you don't want to say amen to something that's unholy and unrighteous or else you're binding something to be what shouldn't be. Right? This is exactly what I was meditating on this morning during my morning conversation with the Father. Holy Spirit brought me here for confirmation. Blessings, brethren. Keep sharing the truth. Love it. I sure will. We got Diane saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee. And multiplying will multiply thee. So here's Diane going to the Constitution, right? Six, uh, well, you didn't give us the, the article. So whatever that, all his promises are ye and amen. 2 Corinthians verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 20. Okay. Such a good bridge message to the world. You have taken the gospel out of traditional language that people have built up walls to. Yes, this, is, this could be another reason why so many Christians and Catholics are praying. They have good intentions, but God's not answering every prayer. 
that we pray. Why? Because we didn't go through the process correctly. So if I come to the Lord crying and moaning and shouting in another language that I don't understand, right? And I'm, you know, going like this in the church and dancing and doing all this stuff. All of that is illegal activity in the courtroom. If you go to any courtroom in the United States of America and you start jumping up and down, shouting, crying, moaning, the court, the judge is going to have to declare a recess. You say, hey, we're going to recess for five minutes so that the witness, so that the person making the petition can regather themselves. Works the same way in the kingdom, guys. If you're shouting to the Lord, if you're praying for 20 hours, if you're saying Hail Mary 60 times and Our Father 47 times, but you're not personalizing the template, you could be working hard and not working smart. It's a possibility, right? It's a possibility. Oh yeah, how many people are in prison and don't even realize it? Quite a few. Lori says, I'm petitioning every single night with this prayer on behalf of my whole family and friends. God is good and never lies. I declare I have petitioned for my share, our share. Amen. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Jules. Jehovah Jireh means God the provider. What's the other one? There's another Jehovah something that means God of money. And then there's another Jehovah something that means God of healing. Different terminology, different words, but have the same contextual meaning. You know, it's all one being. It's not multiple gods. It's one God. 